The energy is really, really building for Jayhawk Nation. After all, it's been about a decade since KU has played for a national championship. Power and Light District, like we said, they're ready for a big crowd. This place can hold thousands. And businesses in this entertainment district say they're ready and they're willing to, to get it. Jayhawk Nation anything it needs tonight. Big crowds sometimes bring big concerns. Kansas City's Power and Light District has become the unofficial party pad to celebrate sports championships. Like the crowd of nearly 5,000 that celebrated KU's win in the national semifinal game Saturday night. The massive group that hit Power and Light to party for the U.S. women's national soccer team in 2019 was huge too. It doesn't matter whether they win or lose, the energy during the game is going to be great. Rachel Waller says the Power and Light District raises its guard when big events draw these crowds. Crowds, but there's no special crowd control measures in place for the national championship. We do have uh, several security companies that we employ that will be helping uh, just monitor the, the event. And with just the big crowds that we're expecting, um, it's going to be like a weekend night down here on a Monday. The biggest reason for concern? Alcohol. Most of these bars and restaurants opened at 4 o'clock serving cocktails in addition to the ones offered in the KC Live block. Businesses say their staffs will be prepared for a crowd that's expected to be cheering for the same team. I think it's going to be a very united, uh, excited, family uh, atmosphere with the fans rooting on their Jayhawks. Win or lose, right? They're going to celebrate together or we're going to commiserate together. Everybody likes to drink and have a good time. We just like to try and make sure that everybody is as responsible as they can be. The, the bigger crowds do give us a little bit of pause, but for the most part, we're prepared for kind of anything that's going to happen. Law enforcement will, of course, be on hand to make sure that everybody is behaving themselves tonight. It is good weather for a national championship Monday. However, it is still a Monday, and that's giving power and light officials, as well as these bars and restaurant managers, some question marks. They know there'll be a crowd tonight here, Kevin and Chris Dell, but how many will show up? That's what we'll ask coming up during Fox 4 News at 6.